So today I'm going to introduce you to a very cool farm. It's called the Goats of Anarchy. And we're going to read the book Angel and Her Wonderful Wheels, a true story of a little goat who walked with wheels by Leanne Loricella, published by Quarto Nose. I love this farm. It takes in all sorts of abused or animals that were born with something wrong with them. So Angel is missing something. If you look at this picture, you will see it. And maybe when you read the book, you'll find out more about it. I hope you enjoy it and enjoy Angel's story, along with all her real true feelings about how it feels to be a little bit unique. Angel and Her Wonderful Wheels, a true story of a little goat who walked with wheels by Leanne Loricella. One cold night, a young woman found a baby goat lying in a snowy field. The little goat was all alone. The woman knelt down and gathered the goat in her arms. She noticed the baby goat was hurt and had only two legs. Don't worry, little one, she whispered. The young woman knew the baby goat would need extra love and care. She had heard of a farm that welcomed goats who were sick or hurt and helped them grow strong. I know just the place for you, she said, holding the goat close. She told the little goat all about the farm. There were other goats, a pig, chickens, a mini horse, and a mini donkey. The goat would have lots of friends and a mother who would love her very much. Her new mother had to drive from far away. When she saw the little goat for the first time, she was filled with love. Hi, baby, she said. I'm so happy to meet you. The goat slept peacefully during the long ride home. Her new mom decided to name her Angel. It was the name of the kind young woman who had saved the baby goat. When Angel arrived at her new home, she was greeted by Piney the pig. He lived in the house and was sweet and friendly. During her first days on the farm, Angel's mom carried the baby goat everywhere. Sometimes Angel's mom laid the little goat next to the window. Angel stared curiously at the animals outside. Angel was happy, but her mom wanted to help the baby goat learn how to move around on her own. Angel's mom had never cared for a goat like Angel. She wanted more than anything to help the little goat walk. Angel's mom prayed that she would find the right answer. One day, she saw a picture in a magazine of a dog using a cart to walk. It was the perfect solution for Angel. When a big brown box arrived in the mail, the little goat and her mom opened it together. Angel was so excited she couldn't wait to see the cart. It was pink. Carefully, Angel's mom placed the baby goat in the cart. Angel tried to pull the cart, but it wouldn't budge. She pulled harder. One wheel creaked forward, but then it stopped. Angel sighed and looked up at her mom and Piney. Keep going, her mom urged. You can do this. Piney gave Angel an enormous nudge. Even though it was hard, Angel tried again and again. The little goat pulled with all her strength. Slowly, the cart inched forward. Angel took one step and then another. The baby goat was walking on her own. With practice, Angel walked faster and faster. Eventually, the little goat was happily running from one end of the house to the other. Angel's mom knew that her prayers had been answered. Soon after Angel got her cart, another baby goat moved into the house. He wore two bright blue braces on his front legs. Hi, I'm Angel, she said with a bashful smile. Hi, Angel on Miles, the baby goat hopped around Angel. Miles had a lot of energy. He wanted to know all the, about the little pink cart. Angel told him that the cart helped her walk, run, and spin. Miles said his blue braces helped him run and bounce. Angel and Miles became best friends, even though they were different. Angel was a serious and determined little goat, while Miles was energetic and goofy. As they explored the house, Angel trotted in her cart and Miles bounced alongside. Sometimes the two friends pretended to be super goats. Angel sped around the house, zooming this way and that. Miles bounced off of everything, even Piney. One day, Piney took Angel and Miles outside to meet the other goats. Angel noticed that one of the goats had only had three legs, but none of them had a cart like hers. She felt embarrassed. Why was she the only one with a cart? One by one, the goats came up to say hello. Some were curious, but others looked nervous. They'd never seen anything like Angel's pink cart. A few of the goats encouraged Angel to show them what her cart could do. But Angel was scared to walk in front of the goats. What if they laughed? Angel stomped her hoof. She wasn't going to be scared. Slowly, she began to walk. 
As she moved forward, Miles and Piney cheered. Angel walked faster and faster until she was running. The other goats pranced excitedly. Angel spun in circles, zooming all over the farm, while the other goats watched in amazement. Miles bounced up and down. Everyone loved her little pink cart. That night, Angel sighed as she cuddled by the fire with Miles and Piney. At first, meeting the older goats had been scary, but Angel had shown the other goats that she could run just like them. As she settled into the blankets, the baby goat smiled. Angel was happy and very proud. As time passed, more baby goats came to live at the farm. Some had trouble walking. Angel welcomed these little goats. She understood how it felt to be new and a bit different. Angel helped the baby goats as they learned to use their carts. She cheered when they ran for the first time. Angel loved her new life. Each day at the farm was filled with excitement and adventure. Angel couldn't wait to see where her wonderful wheels would take her next. The end. You have been listening to a true story, and here are some pictures of Angel and Piney. And her little pink cart. You have been listening to Angel and Her Wonderful Wings, a true story of a little goat who walked with wheels by Leanne Loricella.